Well, I have been to some remote graves in my time, but we visited a grave today that just takes the cake. Uh, the most remote, most difficult to access grave that I've ever visited. And I'll tell you how this started. My cousin, John Paul Binge, called and he said, listen, I need you to go with me to help me find my great-grandfather's grave. So uh, that took us on a long drive over into Clay County. We ended up uh, over off of Little Goose onto Urban Creek Road. And uh, from there onto Minton Road, which leads up into Minton Hollow. Not much up in there, a couple dwellings. But uh, we uh, proceeded to climb hills. Up Minton Creek Hollow is the fifth highest peak in Clay County called Cutoff Mountain. It is a few feet shy of 1,700 feet in elevation. I think it's 1,686 feet. And uh, after looking around on the, this territory for quite a while, we finally found it. And that's what this video is about. Our excursion to uh, the grave of George Minton, who is John Paul's great-grandfather, quite a trek today. I didn't know I had it in me, but it was a, an amazing, amazing scenery. Uh, so if you have the time, I hope you enjoy the video. After we completed the video, John Paul looked, did some research and found out that Cut Off Mountain in Clay County is the fifth highest peak in Clay County. And since it's very unlikely that the other four in the top five have a grave at the top. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that the grave of George Minton is the highest elevation grave in Clay County, if if not in all of southeastern Kentucky. Well, we're over here. In Clay County, oh, Minton number two. we're looking for a cemetery, John, Paul, and I are, called Minton number two, and that is a, that hill right there, cut off knob over here in Clay County. Uh, what's the name of the road we came in here on? That's 1,690 feet. Unbelievable. I don't know what he's got me into today. Trying to find his great grandfather's cemetery. And there's no way to it but up. Hey, John, what road did we come in here on? That we. Manton uh, Road. Little Goose to Urban Creek to Minton Road. I'm I'm guessing he's buried on this ridge right up there. I hope, because everything else is a heck of a lot higher. That logging road is going right beyond that thicket right there, but it ain't going much further. I think the only way to get there is straight up. I don't know. Some, what was the question? Is that cleared up there? Yeah, it kind of looks like it. Yep. Well, this place has been logged. There's briars everywhere, so it's making it going slow. Logging road going up through there. I believe the cemetery is going to be up on this hill. Why in the world? It's going to be buried up here. I'll never know. And we don't really know where it is. 
John's just navigating by memory. The camera doesn't do this justice as to how high these hills are. We're at 1,371 feet above elevation. We're about to get to the top of this ridge. But my God, what a place. The thing about it is, this is gonna be roughly 1,400 feet. And around through there is pushing close to 1,700. We can't do that. We ain't got enough daylight. Onward. This has been logged. And it's making it somewhat, in some ways, easy to travel. In other ways, not so easy. Folks, this is eastern frickin' Kentucky at its finest. Log path up here on top of the hill. We'll follow it for a while and see where it leads us to. I guess we'll head on, see where this leads. That's a long drop. I was trying to find out where the house was. It's way down there in the bottom somewhere where we started. We we've, we've probably climbed what 300 feet up. We're still not at the top of this particular one. Ridge goes right around through there, all the way around the cutoff, which rises up again to almost 1,700 feet right there. Did you say this is your great grandfather? Father is George Minton. What the hell he was thinking? <laughs> well, he lived in this country somewhere. Well, he sure made it a tough road for people to get him buried. I'll tell you something else, John. You get up in here too. Mary Dale, this You're on top of solid rock. All right, if Marydale's that way, and you said you looked at Marydale, it's gonna be up on that ridge right there, which is opposite of Cutoff Mountain. But it's also consistent with what you said earlier, that you came across off the front porch and came straight up the hill. So- My dad, my dad always referred to it as Cutoff Knob. Well, this, this may be, yeah. Unless there's two different ones. No, I'd say this is, it's sort of like Raccoon Mountain and Cutoff Knob next to Raccoon. Cutoff Knob is actually higher than Raccoon. That's Cutoff Mountain. And this over here is going to be Cutoff Knob, in my opinion. Let's go look. Okay, we're now at 1,552 feet of elevation. Way off in the distance, there's a house down in the valley. find it on this or not can't hardly really see for the sun spectacular place places like this are everywhere there's not always a 
logging road to get you to them. Okay, we're gonna head on up. There we are. We have reached 1,604 feet. Uh, look, I got a little patch of shade. Get that house down there now. Way down there in the valley. 1,604 feet. And the view changes up here. Okay. Clears out. There's a finger ridge going right out through there. You see the other side of the hill now. And up here, it's almost like a big cleared flat. So we're going to look around for John's great-grandpa up in this area. We came from that direction there. That house we came from is 300, 350 feet downhill from in that direction. And cut off mountain is right over there. We're probably, I'd say, 1,500 feet from that peak. We looked around up here on this side of the flat for signs of a cemetery, and I don't see one. Another problem you'd have up here is digging a grave. You get up here on the top, you're on solid rock. So, I don't know. I've got another suspect area straight ahead where it dips down right there and goes back up. Cut off, cut off mountains to our right. We may go that way. I don't know. We'll see. That little spot wasn't a cemetery. A bunch of stones, but he's supposed to have an upright, upright stone. So I believe this path right here, this following this ridge around, it's probably an animal path, and the logging crews probably used it too take us straight over to Cutoff Mountain, which is the highest spot out here. What a place. Quite a bit of dead fall, mostly small branches down along this uh, ridge. Not too bad though. Pretty much right over there but we we're almost to the top of this peak here the highest point out here okay this little knoll right here is gonna be cut off mountain top and I see jonquils we always say in the cemetery world I see his grave John I found him we always say jonquils are the lighthouse way ouch I see his grave I see it jonquils are the sentinel for cemeteries I spotted the jonquils and then off in the distance I spotted the grave he's right on the tip top of cut off mountain Son of a gun. When I spotted those jonquils, I hollered at you. There he is. He's on the very peak of Cutoff Mountain. George Minton died in 1912. He punished these people to bring him up here. Good Lord, what a place to be buried. Look at this, folks, all the way around. It drops off 
back in the other direction. And we are at the peak, the very peak, as high as you can get on Cutoff Mountain. <laughs> Out here off of Urban Creek in Clay County. I bet his friends and family cursed his name to have to bring him up here and bury him. But my gosh, what a beautiful place. The briars are eating me up. Let me get this briar out of my way. I cannot believe it. There's another grave right here that looks like a child's grave. There's the, um, my trekking pole right there's the headstone and or foot stone, and here's the other stone. Right there, if I get out of the... When I saw these jonquils, knew it. I knew it. Right over there is another one, John, right there. Another grave, you're right. There's only about three graves here. I think that, that boy said there was more than that. But well, the boy. let me tell you something. There's the other one. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'll point to I it. Thought, uh, That's the other I always one. always thought George's dad was buried up here. Ebenezer. Ebenezer uh, Scrooge. Uh, Ebenezer Scrooge. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something, man. He was buried here in 1912. What was that long? That was no easy trip up here by pack mules. It's a hell of a lot easier by pack mules and horses than the way we came. On foot. What was what? The 1912. Yep. My Listen. My grandma was 13 years old when he died. He died of tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. Here's his footstone. He's got a little small footstone right here. Yeah. Gosh, these briars are eating me up. And I'll tell you something, John. I see three graves. There could be others, but there's only three marked by stone. He was 1867 to 1912. Does that sound about right? Yeah. Gosh. His wife, Betty Ann, Betty Ann Gregory Minton, she's buried at the Cemetery. Well, I'm going to tell you one thing. Two, I'm going to remind you of two discussions we had earlier. You said you came off the porch and went up the hill. You would have gone off the back porch to come up this hill because this is behind the house. The front porch got us up to that ridge up there and we've basically followed once we got to the top we've basically followed this ridge all the way around through here to cut off mountain and this is what uh unless there was another ridge that was cut already well that's possible too but i'll tell you something this being logged actually played to our advantage yeah. but isn't it amazing that jonquils always lead to a stinking cemetery man Very likely, because there's another, there's several old cemeteries out in the country that uh, this time of year, they're easy to spot. Porter comes to mind out off of uh, Highway 30 toward Jackson County. Uh, this time of year, it's just blooming in jonquils. And it's a, all, all unmarked graves. So you just see three graves? That's all I see. Folks, John Paul has gave me the workout of the year climbing to the top of this. This is an awesome stinking place. We, we are not coming back next week. But I'd say we're the last people we're the last people to have visited here since you were here last, John. You know, there's another possibility, John. If this is his headstone and he's buried out that way, here's a stone and another stone. This is a grave. So there are four here. I said three, there are four. So right here is a headstone and a footstone. And here's George. So George is buried in, behind the stone. And there's one headstone footstone that makes three and over there makes four that's the only sign i've seen of any other graves 
prophet says that to do these. Okay, so your great great grandfather was buried up here, 1912. Give us give us your lineage, John. Take it back from you. Uh, my dad's parents were Matt and Matt Benz and Martha Minton Benz. Martha Minton's parents were George Minton and Betty Ann Gregory. And Betty Ann's buried where? She's buried at um, Reuben Brewer Cemetery. On Hoopole. Hoopole Creek. So when she died, what you know what year she died? Betty Ann? Yeah. Uh, it was in the 50s. I don't so know. she outlived him by a long shot. Yeah. And she decided she didn't want to be on this mountain. She had to raise... Three girls and three boys. Never was married again. Mm -mm. But she outlived him by a long shot. She lived into the 50s, and when she passed, she didn't want to be on this mountain. No. She probably remembered coming up here before, and she didn't want to make this trip, even dead. Yeah. What a great place, man. What a great place. Unbelievable. This is a hell of a walk to get up here, John. Well, I say we go down the right side over here and find that logging road. What do you think? Yeah, I've got, got my hands are bleeding and these briars have eaten me up. Johnny quills are growing everywhere, man. A lot of deadfall up here, too. I don't see any other graves, though. Four unmarked, plus George. George, we'll try to get up here and see you again sometime, old buddy. We ain't gonna promise it, but we'll try. Okay, from where we are, you can see the jonquils growing right there. You can see that mound rise up to form the apex, the top of cut off. Then there's a little finger ridges that run out, different rays. There's one that runs out this way. John Paul's wandering around over there. I believe Marydale is back in that direction. Just as quiet as a field mouse out here. Way off in the distance, you can sometimes hear traffic barreling down the highway. What a peaceful place to be buried, but it was no easy trek to get up here. Of course, back in those days, they used mules and wagons to get up here. <clears throat> Probably easier on them then than today. Uh, there's certainly no funeral hearse going to make it up this hill. Put them on a four-wheeler and get up here pretty easy. But it is just a almost 1,700 feet elevation. That's a, that's a high peak for southeastern Kentucky. Your compass says we are in Grace. Correct? That's the same reading we got at Philpot, right? Yeah. Grace is a big metropolitan area. <laughs> From where we stand right here, London would be back to our left. Manchester would be to our right. Say there's a cliff right straight ahead. Yeah, there's some rock there. Rock faces. We'll say we go back out the way we came because we know that's a pretty good that log road. That logging road. I'd like to get the direction of that house. <sighs> huh? That house is doing here. Oh, yeah. Uh, we can go over and see it if you want to, probably. I guess we can see over that edge. Yeah. Let's go look. Thank you.
All right, the cemetery's right there behind us. We walked over here to the lip. We got to make our way back down to that valley. Can we get to that log road that's going in the middle there? We'd have to, if we found, if we could find this log road over here, John, we could follow it down. There's a log road over there, but I don't know how grown up it is. I was talking about that one there, straight ahead. How do we get to it's gonna end? It's gonna kick off one of them on that side. Okay. That goes all the way back over through Younger. Well, there's logging roads all over this country. You start looking way on those hills beyond. But what a spectacular place, man. Crazy. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> That's where we've been, out right there on the very top. And we're making our way back, and we're going to find this logging road right up here and see if it'll take us all the way back down the hill. Because the last time we followed the logging road part of the way, this time we're going to see if it'll take us all the way back. On the way back down, just a little stop to pause here. That hill right there is 1,640 feet. Where we were, cut off knob right here, 1,686. So about 46, 50 feet, 50 feet different. We've done some climbing today, bro. Never thought to start the app and see how many steps we had to make. <laughs> <laughs> it's at least what a a mile <coughs> oh, every bit of it. Every bit of it. I'll tell you what, it's absolutely gorgeous up here, man. I bet you can see for 30 miles, John. I bet you can see for 30 miles. It's amazing. Too bad we just can't flap our wings and fly off this thing. So one of these days when me and John are dead and gone and some youngster finds this video on YouTube, go out there and pay old George Minton a visit. Do us a favor. And when you get up there to George's grave on top of Cut Off Mountain in Clay County, out off of... Uh, Minton Road and uh, Urban Creek Road. Go out there and find George. We're going to put his GPS on findagrave.com so you'll be able to find him. And someday when me and John Paul are dead and gone, y'all go up there and look up at the air and say a nice word or two for us. So we were right up there. That highest point. Making our way down this hill. And there's a stinking beech tree growing way up here, John. Never, I don't, beech don't usually grow that high up. They like the water and the creeks and the streams. Look at here, John. You know what that is, don't you? That's a holly, isn't it? That's an azalea, man. Azalea. That's a mountain laurel. Look, there's there's a patch of mountain laurel trying to get settled in here. All the way up there. Those are mountain laurel. That, all those green leaves. Trying to get settled in here. Grow something back since they logged it all out. Your kin folks did this on purpose, just to test our resolve someday. He'd been gone since 1912. That's been what, 112 to 23? 111 years. 
Wow. I'd like to see what this place looked like in 1912. Maybe it would be buried up so high. I bet you this place hadn't been logged yet in 1912. No. Buried so high that what? Did nobody come and see him? Uh, oh, they didn't get flooded out. <laughs> he might have been wanting to be closer to God. Yeah. Well, we've made it back down to the bottom. It's we've probably is an hour walk up there. I guess. Yeah, we've probably been out on these trails exploring around three and a half, four hours. What do you think about it, John? Not for the faint of heart, is it? We're taking some Advil tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many more of these trips we got left, but what a heck of a climb! Right there's where we've been, bro. Right up there. That's the high spot. That's where your great granddad's buried. Amazing. You just took the long way around. I just wonder how they went up there back in the day. I'm sure they did horsebacks and mules, but still. They had to have, a path. They had to have some kind of path. Probably some sort of switchback path. You know, the helicopters have found us. But these little uh, little logging roads, man, they go everywhere. It's like spider veins all over this hill. Just gotta find out what's the best route. Probably a wild cherry, John. Basically what we did earlier is we started up here at the old home place and we made our way up the hill that way, found logging roads and followed the ridge. It kept going up, it would go up to another point and it would go up to another point, another point. And we made our way all the way around. This is gonna be a tough shot right here because the sun's going down right over your great grandpa's grave. So I'm not gonna be able to get that shot very well so from uh mint and holler so we're gonna call it mint and holler john yep. it's gonna do it man what a trek what a trip thanks for watching me.